Morning, First Love family. That was funny. We just had a funny one. I hope I hope she caught it. Um, you know, God is good, man. This church is good. You're good. I'm good. It's we're just all good. And you know, and but that you know, guess who makes really has a problem with that? You know who he is. First Peter one or five eight. You know, we have an adversary. The devil roams to and fro throughout the earth, seeking him we may devour. He's busy, man. He's a busy little guy. You ever been fishing, deep sea fishing, and you're watching that Dorado come up after that lure behind the boat? It's like, man, that guy's zipping. He's trying hard to catch it. And, um, and unfortunately for the Dorado, um, he usually does get caught. But we don't have to be caught. We don't have to be caught. We are swift-footed. We have wings. We can fly. And, and so, you know, I, I think that... A lot of our defeat, when we have it, comes from not understanding that we're not supposed to endeavor to do anything on our own power. I mean, you know, there's a lot of us that come to this church that have had some powerful spots in life. Uh, maybe not the most respectable spots in life, but powerful spots nonetheless. Um, and uh, uh, but but we those those accomplishments but we accomplished on our own. But what always happened? Well, something always happened. Either the handcuffs got slammed on, or the the car the brakes went out and we wrecked into a tree, or you know something always happened to take us out of the power spot and put us in the oh God help me spot, right? But I think the reason that we have to get to that, oh, God, help me spot um, more often than we should is because what the scripture says is in Romans 15, 13. Now, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope by the power of his Holy Spirit. By the power of his Holy Spirit, not by the power of the pastor, not by the power of the deacon or the usher or the bikers or the surfers, or not by the power of anybody except the Holy Spirit of God. And if we can stay with our mind wrapped around that truth, if we can stay beckoning the Holy Spirit into our day every day, if we can begin to ask God, what should I do? You know, it's so funny because... Uh, what was I going to say? Doggone it. It slipped my mind. Anyway, I'll go on. So may the God fill of, of hope fill you with joy and, whole, and peace in, the, in believing that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Man, it's like I, I have had to learn to call on God for everything because I'm one of those people, and, and most of you are too, is that you make your decision, do what you do, and then ask God for forgiveness. I'm sorry, Lord, I didn't check with you first. You know, I, I should, on my calendar, which after 20 years of marriage, Dawn is finally beginning to teach me to use a calendar. Oh, my gosh, she's been after me forever. And I, I just, I don't, I don't, and I miss appointments, and I, you know, I look like a folio, but I'm finally learning to use that uh, calendar. And I think what I should do is probably put at the top of each page before I do anything today. Seek God. Ask the Holy Spirit. And then put down whatever my date might be, right? Because I'm not, I'm not good, man. And uh, um, I'm still trying to think of what I forgot. Anyway, I'll get to that. Be filled. Now may the God of hope fill you. Not like uh, give you ankle deep. Not like, you know, waist deep, like waiting, waiting pool, but to fill you with what? With joy. With all joy. Guess what can't exist in the same place? A couple things. One, good and evil can't exist in the same place. Not an actual presence or action. Evil thoughts can exist in, in a good place, uh, but the actual action of the evil thought and the good thought cannot uh, exist in the same place. Just like dark and light cannot exist in the same place. If, if I have Nikki turn off both these lights right now, it's going to be dark. No question about it. If I have her turn on all the lights right now, it's going to be light. And there can't be any, there cannot be any light or darkness on this table 
if the light is on, no matter how white it might be, there can't be any darkness on this table if the light is on. So the same is true in our hearts and in our minds, right? If the light is on, if we're, if we're uh, hope to fill you with all joy and peace and believing that you're bound by hope and power of the Holy Spirit, that's turning on the light. That's the light being present. That's the light extinguishing the darkness. I still can't think of what it was I was going to think of. Oh my gosh. That's terrible. Hmm. You guys help me here. It was somebody who was sh should have asked God what he should do. So, oh. I cannot think of it. Oh, well, it'll come along. Now, may God of hope, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound, 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 abound. What's that word abound mean? And how close is it to the word bound? Now, that's a very interesting connection to have made, but I, I don't think it's actually literal. I don't think it's actually good grammar. But, but, but abound that means like a kangaroo right it means like a kangaroo this means like we're leaping into having this power of the holy spirit we're not just shrugging along moving slowly trying to get there no man it's like bam springs on our feet abound in hope jumping into hope leaping into hope by the power of the second person of the Trinity, the Holy Spirit of God. All right, you guys, I love you. Sorry about my forgetting. I'll probably have remembered it by tomorrow, and I'll write it down in my calendar that says talk to God first. Love you guys so much. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we love you. Oh, Lord, be with us today. Cover us with your grace and your mercy. You are a good and faithful God, and we need you, we love you, we want you, we desire only to serve you, Lord God, and to be governed by your Holy Spirit. And if there's anybody out there today that's having a difficult time, whether it's illness or finances or, or broken heart or uh, runaway children, whatever it may be, Lord God, please just fix it. Fix it. Give us a whole and beautiful and wonderful life of trusting in you, Lord. And if anybody's having difficulty trusting in you, then touch them. Touch them where they can only acknowledge that it was you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I was a dead man walking until you left this dead man walking back to life. This is First Love Church. Welcome home.